Rolling, rolling, rolling. Before we get going, um, before we get started, I'd like to take a moment with you to hold hands. You can come, Chris. This isn't a private moment. <laughs> I'd like to manifest great things for us on this Monday. Go I, ahead. <laughs> marker. I would like for us to remember who the common enemy is, because you and I are teammates, exactly. and it's you and me against the fucking tax boards of America. <laughs> and if we lose sight of who the true enemy is, they win and we lose. I'm getting uncomfortable about how much we could get accomplished like this. We could get a lot accomplished this like this. pretty powerful. I worked an entire shift in a movie theater holding hands with someone one time. I'm getting uncomfortable. You do look Is there a split in your wrist. lip, or yes, is it just... It's a split. Oh. Um, apparently pregnant women get really chopped lips. Really? Yeah, I've been nibbling my flesh off my mouth. I didn't know if it was like a clump of lipstick. Like what is, uh, reminiscent on your shirt? This, and here's the deal. I was trying, like, this is so fucked. Cause I was like, I hope there's a way I can bring up how stupid this fucking Mac foundation applicator is. Is this the one you loved that was a heart? No. Two days ago, you were pulling out your applicator being like, look how cute this is. No, you're totally remembering that wrong. I was like, what the fuck is this? I hate it. How crazy would it be that I remember something wrong? It would be totally on brand. <laughs> Honestly. Well, this is getting dark real fast. We'll get into that later. But so anyway, the- it's just a regular like squeezy Mac foundation and you put the lid on it. And every time I put the fucking lid on it, it geysers out and like pfft, farts out. And I've lost so much product because of that. And then I take my fucking sweater off after I was telling Rylan, guess how much my shirt cost? Well, no, it was, the first thing I saw on her today was her cute shirt. The white with the green letters pop really well with your red hair. Thank and you. I thought, wow, you look like Babelicious today. And she goes, guess how much this shirt was. Well, it's more like a guess how much this shirt was. And I said, well, is it official Chateau Marmont where all the celebrities stay and live when mm-hmm. their houses are broken or flooded? Or burnt down. It's very like Lindsay Lohan. Like when my house flooded, if I were Lindsay Lohan, I would move my whole family and all five animals to the Chateau to Marmont. The Chateau. That's yeah. what celebrities do. Yes, it is. And so I said, is it official merch like from their gift shop? And she said, yes, it is. Guess how much? Everyone else can guess too. Guess. Here's your time. Fancy do, hotel do, on the do, Sunset do, Strip. Do, do, I guessed forty nine ninety nine. A hundred and something dollars of tax. And do you know why I got this shirt? Because Joe went to a birthday party there and did not bring me with him. And then he felt bad. And then he got drunk. And he's like, oh, I'll bring Lizzie home a present. Goes to the gift shop. Picks out this shirt thinking, oh, it can't be that bad. And then the lady at the counter goes, it's $103 or something. And he goes, okay. Because <laughs> there were people around. <laughs> he was embarrassed. And so then we have this rule that I can only wear this shirt around him because he thinks it's so cute on me. I mean, it's a like good a version of lingerie then. for us. And now I fucked it with that goddamn Mac shit. Do you think it will come out? No, I don't. It's fucking foundation. I it's wonder, full coverage. I wonder if he'll find you less sexy. I mean, he's probably going to just not be my husband anymore. He's just going to say, get out. Out well, and leave the shirt. There's a baby bitch. on the way, so he has no choice. I mean, he might disown us both over this. I don't know. Let me hold on. Let me pull my pants up a little higher. Have you had another ultrasound since we've seen you last? No, and it's making me feel like I'm not pregnant. I haven't even talked to you all week, which is why I have nothing to fight with you about. Thank God. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Sometimes I think like I was going through it. You know, you already know the bad two weeks is behind me. It's all and sunshine to, and rainbows. Like, well, you also like to horribly like you like to take anything I say and make it like a dagger to your heart. Well, it depends on my mood and it depends on if I have nothing to talk about on this podcast, then picking a fight with you seems to be pretty fun for me. You've done it privately. <laughs> now you're trying to fight after I'm not, we just I'm not trying take to fight. over I'm the not tax trying to fight. You're right. We're right. a common enemy. United. United we stand, divided we fall. <laughs> And I will say, like, if I was being real crazy, I would blame Lizzie for the fucked up shit that happened from the IRS this weekend to me. They came for my buddy. First, they came for me and none of you cared. Now they're here for Rylan. And I hope you all start standing up. Well, no, when she was talking about her story, I was like, guess what? It will all be fine. It's all fine for me. And then I went into my 2019 tax story. And over the weekend, uh, I got a letter from the IRS that was like, guess what? Your 2019 is not resolved. And here's all the interest you owe on top of all the money you owe. Oh, and my brother almost exploded oh my and God. then I almost exploded because we've done this with them for f- since 2019 I can't yeah. count you know who I am that's a lot of years it's a lot that's of years. five years and we have documentation because at first they were saying they weren't getting it so then they said if you fax it to us we can confirm receipt we faxed it to them they confirmed we called they had confirmed they had gotten all the funds and now we're getting from the billing department they haven't gotten it so my suspicion is the department that's gotten it has gotten it but they haven't told the billing department that they've gotten it so I'm still getting the interest and they're still saying 
saying I owe all, owe all this money. And while all this was going on, I had the most anxiety ridden call of my entire life, which is like r rewinding us to earlier in the week. Should I go into that now or do you have anything you want to say? Can I just add to the tax thing really quick? Yeah. After everything I went through with the tax people last week that I shared with you guys, I got another fucking bill. Oh. And this time the lien said on the 27th, the, they said on the 27th, we're adding liens to your account because oh. you have failed to pay this bill. And it was post dated me paying them. They literally sent the letter out on Monday and I had paid them the previous Wednesday. So do they just not have employees? No, they literally don't. They told me they do not have employees because I said, you guys need to talk to somebody because in Because those department. threats make civilian stomachs drop. It's I'm like pregnant. you're trying to tell us you're putting liens on our assets and we owe you thousands, tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah. And what are we supposed to do? Just go fuck ourselves? Because we've paid. We've paid the whore. And she won't leave. And neither will this fucking bug. God, I think it. I Did you get it? it? Do you want me to smack If I hands? open this right here and it flies out. <gasps> Did we get it too? It did yeah. fly out, but we didn't kill it. Oh, it was fuck. just resting in my hand. God. Whoa. I tried to smack it. It might be down there dead. Uh, hopefully. I do feel like it was small enough that I wouldn't feel it. It was a mosquito and it was carrying diseases. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't get Zika. I'm pregnant. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. So I was also with Austin on the phone and he had to sit through me talking to these people, being like, I was trying so hard to be more civilized because Austin could hear me. <laughs> and I'm texting him. I was like, I want you to know I'd be a lot nastier if you weren't on the call. And <laughs> Yeah, it's stressful time for him. He's trying to do everyone's taxes, everyone's. work a million jobs. He like also coaches basketball. Poor man. He's a good man. <sighs> so I did something crazy this week. Yeah. Which is something I didn't even want to do. Yeah. And it's that I say controversial because everyone that does it does it for free in return to promote it to their audience. And it's like that full body MRI. I paid for mine myself. I'm not like promoting this company. Well, we actually talked about this on the podcast last year. It's the full scan where they tell you if there's anything ever wrong with you in your body. Your whole body. Your whole body. It's a full body scan. Yeah, and it Chris is expensive. Jenner did it. Yeah. And the thing is like when the car, and that's the thing that I don't understand, like Kim Kardashian's doing a trade with them, like for a free MRI to post to the world. Mm -hmm. It's like, Kim, you can pay the rate. Well, she's <laughs> probably getting more than a free MRI. I maybe a I lot mean, of these i mean like chriselle staus just did it for example and then she, she probably went, would need a free mri i i mean i think she's doing just, just fine i don't know anything she's about her, doing right? just fine she's that was nasty closet. we're being nice to people now we gotta remember the common enemy <laughs> <laughs> and it's not chriselle staus it's not chriselle i want to be friends with chriselle sometimes staus. you think it's chriselle and but then you remember it it's not chriselle but there's a lot of backlash because it's like well this isn't accessible to everyone i understand that i'm not promoting this company specifically my husband was the one because he's a hypochondriac yeah. and we're we're having children he thought oh this would be a good idea just if there were anything going on then we'd be able to acknowledge and address it to make sure that we're like here and present for our kids and so he had booked this like way into last year and then our kids came early mm -hmm. and so we had to postpone it and then the date came up and we've been so busy that we just thought oh wow it's they called to confirm it we're like okay we'll go to this we get to the place and it's intense yeah they first of all it feels like uh severance honestly uh -huh. the building is this gorgeous building with these huge high ceilings the technology is talking to you they have like snacks and coffee galore it feels like they have they they like this person ushers you to your room and the doors talk to you they're like, welcome. And it feels like they're going to erase my mind. No. So we're living in the future. It's like, and there's all these women at podiums just around where you can like go up and ask your Moving questions. like robots. Are Look, they real? It, yeah. You sure? And it seems like, it seems like I've entered a different dimension. And then they have the videos playing of what it is. Shane and I have our separate dressing rooms before they take us back to our full body scans. How proper. And they have Shane go in first. So I was like, bye and i had no idea what was going on i sent shane on his way we had made a plan before because everyone that i've seen that has done this says oh you can watch netflix you you can do whatever you want in mm -hmm. there it's chill it's fun they're all getting it for free don't trust these people <laughs> no it's great technology but 
Uh, so you go in there, they strap you down. They oh. put these like weighted blankets on you. So I, I'm assuming so they can take the pictures. They put you in like all these cages. Then they put your like headphones on, your cages? goggles on. It feels like a million and you can't move. And you're then they like slide you. If you've ever been in an MRI, this one's full body. So they have shit all over you. You have, they give you a little bobble in your hand for emergencies where if you're, you're tripping getting too claustrophobic yeah. or something, like, burp, burp. they pull me back in and I'm just like, just deep breathing, deep breathing. But the guy, it was like, God, he could talk to me. Mm -hmm. You doing okay back there? <laughs> no. Yeah. And then I started thinking, can this guy just see my penis in this x-ray machine? Is he just <laughs> looking at are. my dick? <laughs> <laughs> and then you just have to keep saying like, it's not about you. <laughs> and so Shane and I agreed. We would watch the first episode of the first season of Love is Blind. And I was committed to that. I was really trying my best. But as this machine's going on, it's so loud. Every 10 seconds, it's ah, ah. This so loud much. so then i'm trying to read the subtitles and i was like well i have to watch this because shane's gonna watch this blah, 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 blah. awful i'm there for an hour just standing and granted the technology is crazy it's yeah. cool that you can do this i didn't realize the amount of anxiety it would give me afterwards knowing that they could see every inch yeah. of your body and everything that could possibly be wrong with you so i get out shane's waiting for me in my room and he goes did you hear the news and i said no he goes I didn't do it. <laughs> what? This goes, is the best thing. He goes, thing. they lock me in. They strap me in. <laughs> they put my headphones and my glasses on. And I just could They started backing me into the machine. And I was like, excuse me. Excuse me. I can't do this. <laughs> and they like slide him back out. And he's like, no, I can't do this. And the guy goes, God that's okay. Him. A lot of people can't do that. We just give them sedatives and have them come back. And he goes, I will never be back. <laughs> he said that to them? Uh -huh. God bless him. Oh, that's like me after a cool scalp they're like do you want to re schedule your next appointment i was like no i do not are you fucking kidding and so then he's talking to the lady and he goes well i don't know would it would it make you crazy to know and he goes well my aunt she goes well my aunt did it and they did find an aneurysm Fuck. and they can't do anything about the aneurysm so now she just has to know that she has an aneurysm and that's how it's gonna end and shane goes I definitely, this sold the deal for me that I can never do this. He was like, I'm a nightmare. I can't be walking around this world knowing that there's something potentially wrong with Impending me that can't be fixed. That, you can't fix, that yeah. I could just go at any moment knowing it's there. He's yeah. like, I would rather not. And I was like, I'm fine. I'm chill. Everything's cool. Let's go. And then Sunday rolls around. Yeah. Then Sunday, <laughs> yesterday, my brother's hitting me up. Oh, the IRS is hitting you up. And I'm like, well, fuck me. Right. And then I get a call and I missed the call because I was like trying to message my brother. I get a voicemail and they're like, hey, we need to, your results are in and we need to schedule you to talk to a nurse. So let me know what time would work for you. Thanks. It, I think that's probably because it's the only person who can give you the information. So I missed the call. I call back. They don't answer. I text her and I was like, is this a uh, general for everyone? Does everyone get a nurse practitioner call or is this because they found something? She replies, yes, it's likely they found something, which is why it's best that you speak to a nurse practitioner. What the fuck, bitch? I was losing my ever loving mind for an hour. My mom's here, my grandma's here, my aunt's here all to enjoy the babies. And I'm like, mom, I gotta bring you into this. I knew I couldn't bring Shane into this because yeah. he was already losing his mind. So I wanted to know that I was going to survive before I encountered my husband. Mm -hmm. And so I got the results and there were like a lot of little things after, I mean, after an hour of panic, they then release it into your portal. So you can view before the nurse practitioner mm -hmm. goes into it. There's like some things with my spine, which is just some normal moving a cyst that could be normal down there. But then like the big thing was there's a lesion in my brain. And they don't know, like the technician and the physician said no further action needed. But then the nurse practitioner was like, well, this lesion could have been there since you were born. And it's like so small that that's why the physician was like, you don't need to really be concerned about this. But she said, if you were my loved one, I would still go get a further brain MRI just to make sure that it's benign, not something that's growing and something that has been with you forever rather than something that's growing and so lizzie's texting me she's like are you gonna be fine and i was like i think so well i'm like upset with you now i could cry well but that's why i didn't like shane too he goes 
So then after I went into Shane, I started telling him the news. He goes, well, what's, what is there? And I was like, well, I don't want to start dropping terms like a brain lesion because I feel like that sounds very intense. It does. It's making me very scared. (laughs) (laughs) But, uh, are we going to schedule another MRI? Uh, yeah, I don't have a general practitioner because we all know how Kaiser is. Yeah. I mean, I have one at Kaiser. I mean, do you want to make her my general practitioner? I do love her. She's in Glendale, which is a nightmare for you. That is a nightmare for me. Um, but I will say, get it looked at, get that cyst looked at. Uh, well, I'm going to. Let's get a fine needle aspirate of that bitch. Well, I don't, and it's very weird. It is very in depth. They ch- check everything. At first, it said like your prostate is abnormal. So then I was freaking out. It says the normal prostate volume is 30 ml. Mine was 11 ml, and it said that's not average. And then the nurse was like, no, if it's greater than 30, that's an enlarged prostate. But they do check for all. Uh, there's so many categories. Yeah. And all my other categories were like a okay Mm -hmm. and she was like this is great results she goes there's basically no one where we find nothing there's always something whether it's a spinal disc that's Mm -hmm. misplaced or something here or something there so it's good news Mm -hmm. but it is just when i was going through that required i just thought god this is a fucked up thing to do to yourself i'm kind of so glad you did not tell me over text now at first i was upset with you for saying something like that and then telling me in front of all these people (laughs) but now i forgive you (laughs) <laughs> the craziest thing and the thing I'm holding on to the most is that when Shane didn't go into the MRI, he then still didn't follow through on watching season one episode of <laughs> One is, of Love is Blind. And I was like, you fucking jerk. We were going to watch episode two tonight and now you've ruined that for us. God. It's over. Over. That is a little bit of salt in the wound there, buddy. So we leave the MRI scan. It's on the west side. What a fucking nightmare. God damn. And so I was like, we'll take the PCH home. Let's stop by the palace Palisades because I had never been to the downtown area of the Palisades. It's kind of cute. It's really cute. Yeah. And I had a celeb run in. With whom? Well, I told you already. You didn't. You don't remember this? No. Oh. It's that unimportant to you? I guess. I'm you know walking what? along. I, you I'm t- walking down the downtown area. I look up. Spencer Pratt, Heidi Montag, and their two kids just playing and Is running Montag about. Montag or Montag? Mon- I don't know. Me neither. <laughs> Spidey. It was Spidey. Spidey and Gunner. And yeah. And the other one? The other one. <laughs> and I had followed Spencer Pratt. He then followed me back. And Shane has had had a lunch with them in the past. And Spencer didn't see me, but I think Spencer saw Shane. But then I wasn't going to you know when you follow somebody online but you've never had a real life interaction yeah. with them. I wasn't while he was with his kids going to be like, Hey Spencer, I'm that person that followed you on Instagram and you followed me back. You know, right? Uh, and, I do that at functions. And Shane, <laughs> Shane didn't make eye contact with him, so I still Shane after. And then I was like, "Oh yeah, that was Spencer and Heidi." Then he looked back, and uh, we both thought it was too weird to then go back because we're awkward people. Mm-hmm. So then Shane DM'd him and said, "Hey, I saw you at the park." <laughs> and did he respond? He said, "Hey, I saw you too." We just didn't say hey. Yeah, I saw this girl at a gathering who I follow because we met at the gathering. And she posted really cute wedding pictures, but we are not friends, you know? And then I saw her at another gathering and I was like, hi, you don't know me, but we follow each other and I love your wedding content. I have to go. Did she acknowledge who you were? No. (laughs) Which is fine. (laughs) See, and that's the thing on social media. You could follow so many people. I also feel like I'm not, I like, I don't think it's weird. Like, cause we, why, what? Like we, you follow me too, bitch. Right. And if I was not me, I would have said something because I do want him on this podcast. Yeah. I want to go pick him up and go mm. eat whatever he wants I'm to eat. I'm sure he'd be down. All right. Well, DM him right now. I probably pussy. never will. <laughs> DM him and, and DM Whitney Cummings. If we're being I'm sick honest, of this life. This podcast is the two of us and my family forever. <laughs> Damn. I really think we need to have Whitney Cummings on this bitch. We need to pick her up and take her somewhere. No, I have lots of questions for her, especially that we're both. We're all fucking boy moms. In our, yeah. That we're all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah and she's close by yeah let's go get her and she talks to shane too so let's go get her there was a while where they were voice memoing each other back and forth a concerning amount i thought i could Are never you trying to steal my husband no i'm kidding <laughs> i could never be a voice memo back and forth type of bitch no no i find vo- voice memos to be the most obnoxious form of communication in the entire world if you're gonna monopolize my time with a voice memo pick up the phone and fucking call me i'm in the middle of something text me bitch. i find them useful for work 
Think about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't. I, Icky had another health scare. I spent my Sunday at the fucking emergency vet, which sucked because Joe and I were like having a great vibe in the morning. We were going to have a good Sunday. We were going to clean. I was going to finish editing my vlog. And then Icky started fucking limping. This seems like every day with him. It's it's not. <laughs> it's just every, it's every goes, other day. I could have had a chill day. And I go, Lizzie, this is the life we chose. Dogs <laughs> and kids, you're never going to have a chill day. They always have to go to the vet. They always need something. Yeah. And it's never chill. Well, that's the thing. Like, I was t- telling Joe, I was like, I'm really grateful that we're, like, we've found this, like, groove in life where we know what's important to us. So that we can have patience with these moments and show up for an animal that needs us Mm -hmm. or like a loved one or whatever. And um, I am incredibly grateful for that because I do love caring for these dogs. And the whole time Joe was like, you know, he's overdramatic. And it's like, I know he's overdramatic. But in the off chance that this is like the neurological thing of IVDD, I'm rushing his sweet little ass in because time is of the essence. And with IVDD, it's like time is the difference between you know maybe having a dog in a wheelchair and maybe not having a dog Mm -hmm. so i'm always if it like looks even similar to a duck or quacks even a little bit like a duck i'm rushing that motherfucker to the emergency vet and so what's the what's the diagnosis he hurt his ankle doing what I, the other day or Saturday, he and Bubs were like running around the backyard and there's like a tiny little lip off of our like sort of patio area that's like made of these like shitty stones and he jumped off the lip and then he kind of slowed down a little bit and I honestly didn't even know Icky had ankles because he has such weird looking legs. Like I thought it was just like knees that he doesn't really use and then ankles or and then feet. I guess I don't know any dogs that have ankles. I I guess all dogs have ankles. I'm going to have to Google what that looks like. I don't, I, we, we might. We might have to, but the good news is, is, um, you know, we usually take him to the, to access emergency hospital. And the last time we've only taken him to the emergency vet one time and it was a fucking nightmare. We were there till 4am Been there, and I was watching horrific things happen to other families in a, and it's really hard for them to go through and it's really hard for me to not want to go to them but i don't think i would be comforting hey, anyway we follow each other on instagram and i know we don't even do hard that. Time. like i know this pain do you want a hug um anyway i hate going there and also i will say that like access has really great veterinarians for like appointments and stuff and if you have a like a specific thing going on with your dog that is an emergency it's an amazing place to bring your dog um but if you if they don't understand if, is this a promo for access no okay so <laughs> i'm gonna say we did not take him to access okay you found your vet that you talk about to us every day no it's a different vet <laughs> oh my god she's cheating on her vet chris <laughs> well i had to go to emergency vet because it was sunday okay and i'm so trying took, not to be nasty because this is dramatic for you well we took him to this place called laser and they did a really great job and they also have like a special they specialize kind of in things like this for french bulldogs and other dogs that have dumb bodies uh-huh. and so we had a really great time talking to that vet he did a full neurological rundown Icky got right in we didn't wait at all there and at access we had to wait for three hours before they even saw him listening to him screaming in a kennel in the back room which was trump joe couldn't be in the building and um they just took him right in they took us into a room immediately like we were probably there for an hour tops while they did the exam on him they gave us really clear action plans you know the first thing they did was say we ran a full neurological test on him he's there's no signs of neurological damage to him going on we did the response to because like there's a lot of tests that you can do to see if this is ivdd before we rush a dog into an mri that costs thousands and thousands of Mm -hmm. dollars and uh icky passed all those tests flying colors so it was really nice that he understood the anxiety that we had and said chill out bitch your dog doesn't your dog's not suffering from ivdd he has a hurt ankle and then you know we we paid for the x-ray and icky's on bed rest for 14 days which is a goddamn nightmare because joe's like working and so i'm alone in this right now and he we just have to stay on the fucking floor for 14 days in the kitchen Mm. and he's so he's clumsy He's a clumsy, flumpy dog. Yeah, and that's even what the vet said. He's like, it's really hard because, you know, Frenchies have dumb bodies, but they're also psychos. So, uh, <laughs> you know, so we'll be, when, uh, I'll be bringing Icky to work on Mondays and then we'll be swimming afterwards. Icky's the cutest dog in the world, but you single-handedly have sold me on never having a French bulldog oh, in my entire life. Joe's <laughs> literally there. When we pulled up to the house, I was like, next dog we get is a fucking multitude of breeds and it is small but he has a big dog's mouth (laughs) 
And Joe was like, honestly, I'm there. I'm there. You got me there. He's like, but every time we take Icky, nothing's actually wrong with him. It's like, right. But if he wasn't a French bulldog, we wouldn't have to take him in for the fear of X, Y, and Z thing. Right. And it's also like to deny yourself the love of a French bulldog is a big denial. I can see them through friends. <laughs> They're so cute and sweet and lovable. Also, I don't know if I should share this on the internet. Then probably don't. <laughs> Think about it while I tell you. Honey also had a health scare and I couldn't even tell Lizzie because I couldn't take Lizzie's panic about it. And it was actually last Monday cool. after he was going to the vet right after we had recorded. And Lizzie goes, where's honey going? I go, don't worry about it. Where's honey going? I said, the vet, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I can't take on I your- I knew. All the dogs knew. When Spe- like Spencer was trying to just get one of the dogs and it was honey. And I was like, where's honey going? Why is, why is Spencer taking honey somewhere? And I just, I knew Lizzie was going to stress me out more than I was already stressed out. Because like- honey has already had a cancerous uh, tumor. And thank God they had, <laughs> they were able to remove it. They got all the margins and she was cancer free. I'm so disappointed in myself that I've stressed you you out about things like that because i don't i want to be there for you so i'm always trying to be cool calm and collected well with dogs specifically i'm a nutcase so and we had found like we check honey a lot because we know this is something that could be a reality for her so we're always checking her and out of nowhere the biggest one that has ever been on her body popped up and i was just trying to like we have kids like i can't go into this crazy mental spiral so i was just positivity positivity it's all fine even the vet calls us and he goes this isn't looking great jesus christ you guys pick a different term oh. and, and that's what, when the nurse or say nothing when the nurse called me from the pre nuvo scan i was like hey the way that the lady phrased it was really haunting for me and really <laughs> sent me into a spiral if she could just say hey it's standard protocol that you talk to a nurse practitioner no <laughs> yeah, matter what, what the fuck? it's part of the package and uh, sometimes everyone always something's found in everyone's scan but yeah. we have not taken a look at yours yet like Instead, yeah. she's like, yes, it's likely they found something. So it's best to talk to a nurse. I'm like, Fuck. so we wait a couple of days. The results come back for honey. And that is a benign tumor. It's fine. It's not going to turn it. As, and I'm panicking. I'm asking the vet every question. And he assured me that it's just nothing. And I thought, oh, thank you so much. Did they do a fine needle aspirate or did they remove it? A fine needle aspirate. Mm -hmm. And then we were talking about removing it or not. The vet said if it was his dog in this moment, he wouldn't remove it yet, but just watch it throughout the summer. He said if it starts changing in size at all, then it's best to just remove it. But for now, he was like, I wouldn't keep your opinions to yourself i'm gonna <laughs> thanks i was scammed by the fucking girl scouts of america no <laughs> can you believe this yes you can yeah they're scammy ass bitches they be standing outside grocery stores and shit being like give me your money is the boy scouts a different organization i don't know probably i don't know i don't know either i'm just deciding if my boys can be a part of the boy scouts after i feel these nasty feelings towards the girl scouts we can be our own boy scouts so shane and i were on our family walk and uh, like uh, initially i wanted to do tasting girl scout cookies on this podcast but then i want to do tasting those crystal gems continue the crystal gems i've been sending you fucking crystal gem instagram dms for weeks now saying i want to eat these little crystally gems is there can we get them somewhere yes i send you links all the time okay so we're on our walk (laughs) Uh, and I see this cute little like Amelia is selling Girl Scout cookies. Scan this QR code to play code to place your order now. Oh. And I thought, oh, this could be cute for the vlog we were filming mm-hmm. that day as well. And I I'm scanning the QR code. I'm like, oh, which one should we get, Shane? And he goes, well, if we're doing a taste test, obviously get one of every single cookie. And I was like, mm, that's a lot of cookies. Not only do I not want to eat all of those, but like it's a lot of money for cookies. What'd you find, Chris? Girl Scouts is and will remain a separate organization. Mm. Drama. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't want to get into it, but the Boy Scouts of America do have a low-key bad rap. And do the Girl Scouts not? Uh, I mean, you hear less about it. Just that they're crazy at the grocery stores? Yeah. Just that they're while out to sell those cookies, yeah. to move those cookies? Yeah. And so <laughs> I scan the QR code, I buy all of them, and I was like, oh, she's my neighbor. I'm sure she'll be able to just stop by and deliver them today. I can film it today. We can try this. It will be cute and fun. It's three days later, and I'm looking at Shane, and I was like, 
Where the fuck are our cookies? Amelia never reached out and I didn't get any cookies. And then I start going to my email confirmation. I'm clicking on all the links and it goes, this web page does not exist. You got- it says, here, click this for customer support. I click it for customer support. It goes, this page does not exist and this sale has now ended. So I go to my credit card and I'm like, did somebody hack me? The, pro- the charge has been processed. Shane starts Googling. He goes, oh my God, this is a scam. People are running. Should we run that scam? And I go, <laughs> are they going to just like rob my credit card account now? Do I need to shut my credit? card down and so i'm i'm like i'm gonna do some further investigating this is a pretty like tight-knit neighborhood where only a few families it's not a huge neighborhood and everyone's Mm -hmm. a little bit older quite honestly so i go to my neighbor who knows it's exactly where i would go if i was a scammer that didn't live here to put pictures on fly like flyers that was my reasoning and then my mom goes yeah exactly why you would pick this neighborhood they're gonna fall for it and i was like oh Oh. <laughs> that's me that's falling me. for it so i go to the neighbor who has that's across the street from the sign who knows everything about the neighborhood mm-hmm. she'll tell me anyone that moves in anything that's going on i love this woman she also has gay sons that had uh, their <laughs> kids through a surrogate so cute she's mm-hmm. always babysitting them we're really like we're good friends oh <laughs> honestly i've heard of her yeah <laughs> Shout out, Marie. Hey, Marie. I don't know if her kids love me. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) Um, And so I asked her, I was like, is there, what did I say the girl's name was? Amelia. Amelia. I said, is there an Amelia here? Like, do you know an Amelia in the neighborhood? And she goes, no. And my mom was with me and she goes, then for the sake of this neighborhood, we need to throw that sign away. Yeah. And so my mom walks back, she picks up the sign and she throws it in the big trash can. And I was like, we just saved the neighborhood. <laughs> and so we get back. Thank God Vicky's here. It's now been a whole week because I had done that the previous Sunday. Now this was yesterday on Sunday. The cookies are here. Three hours <laughs> later, I get a text from Amelia's mom. Hey, this is blank. Amelia's mom. Sorry, we've had a delay on the order. <laughs> just seeing this now. And I thought, are you responding because you just got to it? Or do you have cameras and saw that your sign was thrown away? And then that made you check your orders. And I thought, oops. <laughs> hey, I did my due diligence. I asked the neighbor. I called all the all the numbers on the website confirmation. Yeah. I Googled it. It looked like a fucking scam, Amelia. All right. You be shady as fuck, Amelia. And if you don't want us to throw your signs away, then where the fuck are our cookies? And honestly, bitch? it's been another 24 hours. Where are the cookies, Amelia? And I still <laughs> do not have my cookies or a day that my cookies will be How to me. How old is she? However, I don't know because she hasn't shown up at my house with the Girl Scout cookies. So do you, we could potentially, like, if it were to come to it, we could get in a, a fight and win, right? I mean, our Girl Scouts, 18 years. I could get in a fight with her mom. That's for damn right. sure. Right. So we, don't, today, we don't fight minors. Before the podcast, when Just I was small adults. walking my dogs, I thought, I'll do the right thing. I dug through the trash can, found the sign, and put it back up. Wow. <laughs> so I did the right thing. God bless you and America. <laughs> <laughs> but not the IRS or the California State FTB. <laughs> Oh, Fuck them. I wanted to not forget to do the ad read. I always forget to do the ad read. So we're just doing it live on the show. Oh my God. Can you do that? <laughs> I can. Today's podcast is sponsored by Factor. Eating better is easy with Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals. Every fresh, never frozen meal is chef crafted, dietitian approved, and ready to go in just two minutes. And that is honestly the best part. Literally no cooking involved. You pop that thing in the microwave and lunch is ready to go. You'll have over 35 different options to choose from every week, including calorie smart, protein plus, and keto. Plus, there are more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled and feeling good all day long. They have choices like pancakes, smoothies, and a variety of easy options for the entire day like breakfast, midday bites, and more. Factor is also flexible for your schedule. You can get as much or as little as you need by choosing your meals every week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries at any time. Factor is the perfect solution if you're looking for fast premium options with no cooking required. You can also get super healthy meals so you can feel good about about yourself during the week and when you're busy just ah, it's ready i love it so much so head to factormeals.com slash sip 50 and use code sip 50 to get 50 percent off that's code sip 50 at factormeals.com slash sip 50 to get 50 percent off Woo! hell okay. yeah factor a few hot topics before we put our butts in the car i'm bringing whoever else will fit in the car with us that's between my mom my grandma and Susie. Uh, two of those women they're coming with us two of them at least and i honestly they have these like cheesy new 
bread pizza bites that are going viral at Little Caesars. Oh, so okay. hopefully you guys are interested. If you're not, then you better order your. I mean, you had me a cheesy now. bread. I have a piece of cheesy bread in the car right now. No, like, you don't. Yes, I do. I'm tired of leaving here starving. Let's compare it. Starving? We eat every podcast. I'm pregnant, oh, okay. and I can't eat. You're your- right. You win. <laughs> okay, let's do these hot topics a little quickly. Um, oh, I wanted to start here first. Okay. Uh, so you know of J Lo's like m- music movie. Yes, I do. That she, do you? No, I'm. Genuine, have, we haven't spoken about this. Uh, no, I'm very aware, she, and I don't know how to handle it nicely. So because I've been seeing viral clips of it. Oh, is that all? Seem, is the documentary of this going viral? Um, yes. Because okay, so here's the thing. If you don't know, J Lo was like she wanted to do what Beyonce did: create a visual album, album. with a movie storyline. She did you see it? I skimmed it. Did a, anyone see I, it? I, I mean, what I will give this woman is she goes for what she wants, even when the world's telling her no. And she said, so what I discovered last night is there's a documentary of yes. the making of, which yes. is better than the music movie itself. Well, better is a, is entertaining, a multi-purpose work. Can't stop watching. Incredibly insane. Like, so good. Uh, no, are you? were you not like jaw dropped? Couldn't stop watching? Um... No, <laughs> for so was... many reasons. She's J Lo. Okay, she's worth four hundred million dollars. <laughs> she is pitching. I'm just. I think it's incredible that like everyone's telling her no. She's mm-hmm. gone to all the studios. She's documenting. Every studio's telling me no. They're telling me this won't make money. All the streamers said no. We're not going to fund this. So you know what? We're already in this. I'm going to fund this myself. Twenty million dollars. I'm going to fund this myself. And I applaud that she's just, as Ben Affleck would say, pushing a rock uphill when she has nothing more to prove you know uh-huh. and so she i just thought what was interesting is she's so determined and she wants celeb cameos and she's documenting everyone saying no so even at a j-lo level she's like th- her camp is like ariana said no taylor said no chloe kardashian said no this is so dark everyone's saying no all the people who said no because it's making me feel bad but that's what i'm (laughs) saying it's like at any level like j-lo is j-lo and she's still like begging jane fonda it will only take two hours of your time one hour in hair and makeup and one hour just to read the lines that's it any day you're available i'll make it happen and jane fonda's like well j-lo i want to root for you but every time i look at the news you're just you're pushing this relationship too hard like it's fake or something and Jane Fonda's just telling her this to her face. J Lo is famously not super fun to be around. I think because and she's because all she cares about is her career and fame and like right now she has five million projects. It's like she has this movie, a Netflix movie. She's saying this is going to be the biggest year ever for her. She like this woman. Oh yeah, more, more often than not, if you turn on Netflix looking for a new movie, J Lo's in it. <laughs> and you've never heard of it and, and you'll never watch it and you hear ben and he's like well i just i j-lo wanted a public relationship i don't want a public relationship but j-lo wants it and that's like being with a he baker telling him they can't bake I, i'm paraphrasing oh i was like what? i was also <laughs> skimming okay but back to jane fonda because this is what was the most fascinating to me the whole time she's just like I don't know, JLo. Like you're you're putting this relationship on too thick. She's like, I love you guys and I'm rooting for you guys, but I'm like basically calling bullshit. And she even shows up to set and she goes, So JLo, I saw that clip at the Grammys and I was heartbroken. Like, what is going on? Like she's just calling JLo yeah. out on camera and being kind of mean to JLo. And is JLo's this documentary like, about her relationship with Ben? It's about her relationship making this movie. And so in that, Ben is there. I saw a clip where you can literally hear the gun clinking against the side of the camera pointed at Ben's head. And Ben's like, I didn't really want to do this, but J-Lo said, you got to do this, Ben. So I'm Well, she goes, I'm an artist and I'm going to like put, and he goes, I know that this is what artists do. And I was relieved (laughs) when I found out that this wasn't just about our story. He's like vaping under the table. (laughs) But what I'm just saying is it's it's good in the way it's like you can't believe that she is not cutting these things. Did you see the clip where she's sitting? I watched the thing. She's sitting like clips. fucking spread eagle 
on like an apple box in her gym just taking out her her hair extension so you can see her fried tips and she's like i like to take my hair clips out and just remember when i was just jenny from the block and she's just like shaking out her ratty ass hair she's like this this takes me back to when i had nothing and no one so i like to just do this from time to time to keep it real with myself in my 50 million dollar mansion with my husband that i don't love for public attention (laughs) everyone's like dm girl then there's another scene where I don't even know what she's talking about, but it seems severe, but it's cut over her doing a dance that's not great with a fucking umbrella, like a little step, step sachet with an umbrella. And I'll give like, this woman an A And plus. Ben Affleck's like, it's her art. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to stay sober and I can't afford another divorce of this size. Well, and she's even like, crying she's like i didn't make it to ben's premiere because i'm selfish i just i've been running myself <laughs> into the ground spoiling it. i just told you i'm on the kitchen floor for 14 days i have nothing to do but watch this fucking this documentary. is gonna be my comfort documentary like i'm gonna replay this at all times and it's just her in fabulous like i hope to god this replaces like, blackfish for me like five thousand dollar <laughs> outfits in her like 20 million dollar kitchen being like this is so hard for me and i'm like i just love it and ben's like <laughs> i tell her all the time relax stop pushing a rock uphill you don't have to prove anything to anyone you're j-lo and i'm like yeah you're j-lo just wake up and drink coffee in your mansion and be chill but she still wants it she's fighting for it and she's doing the damn thing (laughs) oh god i think you're literally the only person who left that documentary inspired (laughs) no i was jaw dropped i was like i can't believe this is real like (laughs) i cannot believe that you as j-lo is living the same life as a youtuber that's like begging people to get on their podcasts it's no different like ah this streamer turned down my movie ah this guest won't get to my podcast and she's like heartbroken she's like get Derek huff on the phone they're like he passed he has a wedding and she's like just get him on the phone with me anything to get Derek huff on the phone with me and it's like (laughs) j-lo you're j-lo you're j-lo i heard one of her writers and her contract is that everything in her dressing room must be white God love her. All right. Uh, <laughs> Hillary Duff is pregnant with her fourth child. Uh, it seems like she can't wait for this baby to come out. And her husband, quote unquote, hilariously live tweets his vasectomy. That's the whole story. That's it. Yeah. I saw it too. Like he was like high on drugs, just tw- uh, DMing everyone from Love is Blind, yeah, basically. He's like 10 out of 10 would recommend a vasectomy. Well, they have like 20 kids. I mean, four kids at that house. Yeah. But it lot. seems like a lot. Four kids does seem like a lot. Now that I have two. Yeah. Four seems like a lot. Yeah. I had a friend tell me like two is mind boggling. Three is not much different than two. And anything after is like kind of the same. I would say going from two to three dogs was a lot. Yeah. Like a lot more work. A a lot more love, but a lot more work. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay. (laughs) Northwest is having an album. Yeah. So Kanye has been performing live and he brought Northy out and she announced that she's dropping her first album. Elementary school dropout. Which is hearkening to her father's, I think it's college boy dropout. College guy. College okay, guy. I'm dying for this Kate Middleton update. I don't want to, if you don't have anything nice to say. The, well, it's, she's just my best be- destiny. Uh, miss, Kate, Westy. what's the Kate Middleton update? I, the, now, what the, okay, okay, so, okay. Can okay. I just say now, I'm no, not no. saying the story. I'm just saying now that my grandma's here, she watches the news. So it's like the news, entertainment tonight, good morning, America. All they can fucking talk about is Kate Middleton. I have yeah. seen her face 500 million times. Remember last week when Rylan shut me down when I wanted to talk about Kate Middleton? We talked about her for five hours. Seems what are you like, talking about? Seems like we need Nana McAllister on this couch right now because she's the bitch I want to talk to about Kate Middleton. I've also learned you. Oprah is in hot water. Oprah is in hot water. And I was living for that, honestly. more. You know what? Gosh, I'm siding with all these people. Oprah's 70. Let that woman live. So for those of you that don't know, Oprah Winfrey for the longest time was the face of Weight Watchers. Well, she and- she also bought stock in the company, yeah. was part owner, had six million dollars yeah. worth of the company's net worth or like whatever. Yeah. Big weight big weight watchers lady. Um, it has since been revealed that she is on weight loss management pills. Or uh, Ozempic or Manjaro. Right. Ozempic or Well, no, she's doing a whole, like, she is basically doing the Oprah Winfrey show Monday night. Oh. Just one episode. And she's having all, like, it's basically one one episode of the Oprah Winfrey wow. show. I have it set. It's recording on my DVR tonight. In real time, it's already happened for Gosh. everyone watching. Can I watch it with you? Yeah. I oh, can't I wait. I can't. I'll be on the floor. Oh, well, watch it on your floor. Okay. And I'm living for all of this. Like, she was on one of the late night shows, and they're like, so you, you quit? And she goes, quit's so nasty. I stepped back 
because I just didn't want there to be any confusion. But she said now Weight Watchers does also help administer these weight loss drugs because it is a tool that is helping people to also lose weight even while they're on Weight Watchers. But I'm like, Oprah looks fabulous. She's 70. You guys can't touch that woman. So yeah. if you're saying anything nasty about Oprah, fuck you. You know whose visual <laughs> album and documentary I would watch? Who? Oprah's. Same. Yeah. I would watch Oprah read the fucking newspaper. I bet it would be gorgeous in her Montecino man mansion. Yeah. And I'm sure there's somebody serving her coffee, serving her breakfast. Mm -hmm. I would pay anything to be a, a fly on the wall at Oprah's house. Yeah, me too. I, I hope I, I come would, back. Those flies live good. <laughs> Okay, so we were talking about Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton. Okay, she's still MIA. Supposedly, she won't be back until March 31st. And on March 31st, there has been rumored that a big announcement will be made. This is like two weeks out, you guys. Because that's the day I get off of bed rest with my dog. <laughs> and like, who the fuck announces a big announcement two weeks out? Like, just... What is going on? And I do, there is, it is odd. My mom dropped a bombshell that I hadn't heard about. What? I guess it's been alleged that uh, on the news, this isn't coming from my mom, yeah. uh, that he had just been having an affair that dates oh, back months and months ago. Yeah, that's not a bombshell. And so maybe that, she's leaving him. They've also been slowly kind of launching his mistress by putting her in more press releases, like announcing that she's like, oh, this former top model is on an outing now but it's like they're trying to make her more in the media in a likable fashion is what my friend brandy texted me last week and maybe i'm suddenly invested it's hard not to be invested because it's like where is she <laughs> you know what i mean and like they're so they were so open about prince charles but they're so mums the word about her and they keep being like no look there she is and it's like a picture of someone going like this <laughs> And it's like, is that her? Like, why do you, why are you tricking us in weird ways? Like what? Like, is the more than anything, none of us would give a fuck if no one said anything. The problem is they said a lot and it's like also not enough. So it's confusing. <laughs> it's confusing. Where's he? Is he out and about? I mean, we're seeing his face in the pictures oh. they're dropping, but we can't see hers. Like, she's shrouded in shadows. Like, gonna, it's fucking weird. I'm going to sit with my grandma tonight to find out what's going well, on. We should just, we should get, yeah, film that for me. Let's, or if That's she comes out with see. us, we'll ask her. Drag her ass out. Dude. Honestly, this topic should have been in the car with them. Oh, we'll bring it back. She we knows more go. than we do. See you soon. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> <laughs> okay, there is drama because I was all excited to go to Little Caesars. We drove way out of the way because you can't find anything great in California close. I wanted to do the Sonic thing to the dirty sodas. Oh, yeah. It's going viral in Utah. The Sonic, the closest Sonic to us is like four and a half hours away. What? Four it's going and a half viral hours? in Utah is just the funniest phrase I've ever heard. Well, it's like they have whole restaurants now. It's like the Mormon moms because they don't want to consume the coffee. They're right. doing the dirty soda, which I don't know how caffeine in a Diet Coke is any different than caffeine in a coffee but hey they're also microdosing mushrooms so what can you do <laughs> um so we get there and we're ordering the food and he goes okay that's gonna be 20 minutes <gasps> and i said the whole promotion for this is grab and go it's yeah. little caesars it, mm -hmm. it is so we what? Did get it we got it oh there is a car hey hey hi sorry guys it's about lighting we're just <laughs> vlogging we'll see you in 20 minutes unfortunately screw Ooh, us no, right? you're gonna get into the spot just like this Whoa. Just like, oh, we're it's sandwiched like between te Teslas. Bowling. Wait, I thought you said you're coming. I couldn't be in there a moment. You, wait, are you not coming with food? <laughs> Chris is coming with food. Oh, because you said coming. I was like, no, oh, I I'm going to roll all the cameras. I'm in that building a second longer. Is this high enough? Hold on. This is fine. The inner, Well, my head's a little cut off, but I can slooch. This woman. Okay, hold on. One take, one. Now the clouds went behind and I have no light either. Are you kidding me? Wait, does he not have food? No, he has he food. Did, he has food. That was literally, I have never been in such a negative energy space <laughs> that when I walked in, I was like, I have to leave. Well, it's it's like when I first ordered, he was like, okay, it's going to be 20 minutes to try to deter. Wow, that yeah. is a lot. I, I was like, we order all this? See, okay, here's the, also my beef is I wanted to order a dessert as well. So I ordered five because on the menu, it looked like it was individual. Oh. Now I'm thinking I ordered huge, oh. five huge portions of dessert. If that's the case, we should 
like only eat one and gives the others away. Yeah. Yeah, to our friends. Smells garlicky. Uh, it smells I'm, am really I your good. Friend? That was no. a wild experience. <laughs> so that was the worst thing ever. So the guy yeah. that you guys ordered from went in the back and would not come back out to talk to Chris. Mm -hmm. And then there was another employee that was livid with the guy who wouldn't come back out. And they were <laughs> smashing things around yes. in there. Like yeah. pouting, full pout. Yes. Smash, bang, stamp. And it's like yeah. tying all these things up. And I looked at Chris oh and I was my like, God. I have to leave. <laughs> yeah. And I sent you in to be I, nasty. I was going to be nasty, but she... I was like, this is too nasty. <laughs> and it's oh so gosh. out of touch with oh. reality. Like, what is wrong with the youth of today? Oh. She volunteered. Okay, first of all, we have my mom here and we have my Aunt Susie here. Hello, hello. Uh, they're here visiting the babies and us. My grandma's also here, but only five of us could fit in a car. So, um, you got Grammy in the back. We came, <laughs> we came all the way to Little Caesars to get these. They're going viral. To get these and they're brand new. Abused. We yeah. didn't realize <laughs> this is what we're having, Susie. Mm. We yeah. gotta open those up. And we then go in and I, order I got their cookie up. dough brownie <laughs> M and M bites <laughs> for dessert. And I guess oh. I ordered huge portions because when I looked at the total, I was like, how did we spend $60? Oh, Jesus. He should have That's said, That's hard though. to do at Little Like, it was Caesars. just us. Like, he I could have know. been like, you wow. know you're ordering huge things, right? I, no, they hated us. It's like they wow. didn't want customers. When I walked in, the That's guy crazy. who helped us looked me in the eyes and then walked in the back and never came back out for an insane amount of time. They so, must be fighting. On, but I also get... wouldn't be shocked if they were fighting because both, like, that person's energy... Ooh was so disgusting. Is that all the brownies? Oh my gosh, they look so good. Oh, the brownies are... Oh my god, they get. They really did give us... So these are all the... the oh my god, and pots. he also didn't tell me that each one came as four. Yeah, you, you ordered... Are you, you wanted kidding seven me? singular Oh my pops. gosh. Oh my gave, god. Instead he gave you seven boxes oh, of four. Here we already, we each, we each have got one. one. Are you one? kidding me? Look, they didn't even have to cook the dessert. Well, we'll just open one of these first. Oh, they we, don't we have to cook. Oh, That's yeah. why it took so long. They had to Sorry, package to the dessert. Out. Wow. This is, this is an Oprah. It's like taking candy from a well, baby. Well, we'll do that for dessert. I just thought for sound. I could literally <laughs> go back in there <laughs> and fucking... I would love to see you go in there because you actually don't give a fuck. <laughs> and I bet they didn't give us napkins either. No, but they did give us a whole lot of attitude. <laughs> How did they no. hand that to you? We oh, had the, aggressive. <laughs> dude, scary. Was, was it like, ugh? Yeah, it kind of felt yeah, like I, it. If they had thrown it at me, I would have been like, listen, bitch! I'm going to get the napkin. Should <gasps> I carry it? Oh, okay. film it's it. scary in there. I just need us all to take a second <laughs> okay. to realize this man fucked me. Yeah. Like we did yes. not, he could have said each one comes in a pack of four and the desserts are also five brownies each. Now I have enough food to fucking feed a whole office building. And I'm on the brink of fucking you if we don't get a bite of this soon. And, and I, well, we gotta get napkins. I feel like if you oh, would have only gave me no, one, here, let's just take a bite. Had. Let's just take a bite. Side, well, how are we gonna incredible. wipe our fingers? Oh, They're greasy. You're gonna have to lick them. Look no. Remember when we ate panda with our bare fingers? Yeah. We can do anything. All right. So embarrassed. Just take it from the side. Them. Everyone get a bite. Okay. Oh, Lizzie's already in. I'm excited about something. Lizzie's in too. All right. All right. Mmm. Mmm. That fox. Oh wow. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Worth the abuse. Mm -hmm. Are these wow. supposed to be frozen? Worth the abuse. <laughs> there's pepperoni on the inside. Like, there's pepperoni layers in here. Mm. Mm. That is good. That's better than a bagel bite. Well, it's Darn. Good. I don't think we each... Maybe we did each need four. Who it's knows? It's fluffy. It's greasy. It's a little crispy mm -hmm. and a little chewy. Mm -hmm. It is kind of everything that I needed. Mom, you got to scoot over. You're not even mm. in frame. I'm not. Okay. No. I be really good with some crazy sauce. What crazy mm -hmm. sauce? Do they have it in there? When I was in high school, you bought breadsticks and you dipped it in the marinara. Yeah. Mm. I did. S <laughs> Those people hated us. It's like they. It's like they didn't want us to have a good experience. Those people hate themselves. Mm. I can't believe we're not going back in for napkins. I should take my box in my hands and say, can I have some napkins? Mm. I'm going to. The I sauce on top is it. really good. It is great. You know what? It is good. I hope I don't have a little Caesar spy me. I feel like I'm me. eating too fast. Mm. <laughs> no such thing. No such <laughs> Guess what, Elizabeth? What? The singer who isn't for you mm -hmm. is my mom's favorite artist on this planet. Ariana Grande? She came on while you were out taking a phone call. Mm -hmm. And my mom started singing and bopping, and I remembered, if my mom can understand and relate to her lyrics, then surely you, as somebody song? 20 years younger, <laughs> could also relate. Oh. But what did I used to tell you wow. and Morgan? Your mom. 
<laughs> the Sorry. box was covering their well, whole that's lives. better. <laughs> they, that's better. They'll be thanking you. I think <laughs> Lizzie's more like 30 years younger. Right. Do you remember what I used to tell you <laughs> about, you, Ari? No, Ma, listen up, Lizzie. Ari. I used to tell Ryland and Morgan, I just don't like her. I can't understand her. And then all of a sudden I was here and we went in the golf cart and we listened to Ari the whole time. Do you remember? <laughs> on a walk with Grandma. You're on you're on nickname basis yeah. with her. Yeah. I call her Ari. We're talking to A. So I said, I can't understand her, da 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 and I go home and I keep listening and I'm like, I'm addicted. And what do you think about all of the drama? I say thank you. Next. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. And Christopher. Hmm. Said that on his free time, he was Googling Lizzie and I as AI. Did they include you in these? I I was using AI to create photos of you and Lizzie. I I just typed your names, and then I said podcast. And I was like, I wonder if it'll create a thing. And it did. It created a few things. Wow. So I'll show you the thing. All right, these pizza bites are worth... Every penny and all the emotional abuse. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm born ready. Show me. Wow, I look beautiful. Wow. And Ryland, we could be twins. If my hair's better in this than and in this real life. And this poster is all about me. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait, am this I? Is, look at the hair. Is this a Christmas wow. movie photo, actually? Is this? Oh, my God. Oh, that, my God. Look that, how hot we are. Oh, my God. This sucks. No, it's I not. hate that There's this two is... more. There's two more. There's oh, two my more. God. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. that actually, I thought that was oh us. No, Lizzie, you have such a di- uh, <laughs> an one, overflated one. sense of self no, if that's what you think we not. look like. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. the second. That's photo real. The, this one or this one? One more. Over. You kind of look like Phineas. Mm-hmm. Wait. Oh no, I've lost it. It's okay. We look better in all of those than we do in real life. <laughs> that's not true. I don't think that's true. Mm-hmm. I felt like that was exactly people. us. <laughs> <laughs> These are so good. I can't stop. They're really good. By the way, you were saying like, oh, isn't there a whole thing grab and go? When you walk in, you look above the menu in huge letters. This is hot and ready. Like in massive letters. Nothing about that store was hot or ready. (gasps) Where'd you find these? In my purse. My mom's always prepared. But I wanted to go back in and get them. Get the... Honestly, I want to watch it happen. Any standouts from your stay? Vicky and Susie? Babies, babies, Mm, babies. (laughs) Oh my (laughs) God. Oh yeah. Are these supposed to be frozen? No, they're not frozen. Did they not cook them? They're not cooked. What? Yours isn't. They're mine, cold. Mine is Feel not like. cold. I will throw a hand. They're Unless they're supposed to. Oh. Oh. No, they're those, probably. Those they're like Cosmo brownies. Because they're already packaged. I can't rate yet. I'm not ready <laughs> for dessert I'll yet. I'll only tap it on the bottom. I'm just not ready for. De- oh. I still think I'm going to be happy with that. <laughs> Here's a napkin for you. Um, we were going to go to Universal while they were here, and then we realized it's spring break, and it was like, I don't think we can that. might be that. too Anytime much. Anytime someone says spring break, I have to say it like. James Franco in Spring Breakers. Uh, I don't see that. Spring Break. <laughs> Am I the problem? Because everyone was mean at me yesterday too at Target and at Ross. I had really bad experiences. <laughs> so maybe I'm the problem. What Weird. happened? I, <laughs> I had a lady in line screaming in my direction something about the ugly Mexican man. And I was like, are you sure that was? I was like, what? they're not talking about me. Gosh. I'm also not Mexican, but anyways, <laughs> she she kept saying things, and um. then I like laughed about it because she just kept yelling crazy things. So I giggled a little to myself, and then she was like, "Oh, now the ugly Mexican's laughing at me." Oh, I was like, oh, what? it is me! Oh my gosh, you're kidding me! Yeah. How did you not punch That's her? Rude. I mean, it's a woman. Even but. if she thought you were, you're handsome. That's Thank you. terrible. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. I feel like she's has real problems. Gosh, when she had a kid. Mm. What were you laughing she about? She kept the look. She shouted something at one point. Uh, I don't even remember what it was, but about Target. Like, she's like these fascists, or I don't know, something crazy. And it was just, I just Target is wow. and reaching sometimes. But then she turned to her child mm. and was like, "Remember, everyone hates you." So she's like, "Oh yeah, my god, there's a lot." That god bless child. that child. I know. I felt so bad. I wanted to steal it. How mm. old was the child? Uh, I don't know. Just old enough to talk. Barely. Oh, that's awful. Mm. Well, I guess let's try these brownies to get a little more happy. Oh. Great segue. <laughs> <sighs> oh. oh, no, oh. these are going to be nice. Really? Okay. Sorry, we've Not got yet. a transition. Back to them. These we're, made up. Right? We're in film land. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. You take that. Already? That good loaded one. Well, you can go back to the pizza. We just have to take a bite to taste test to mm. tell the people oh, if man, it's worth it. Oh, soft. Yeah, I think this is how God intended oh, well, these, Lizzie. Wait, wait, wait. Cold? I, I don't think they were supposed to be hot. I think that would have dampened oh, the experience. Here, I'll just take the whole thing if you want. Oh, how yeah. many sleeves? Do you oh, have one? Ah! It's 
Okay, should we I break don't. it? Do you want to just break? Shh. I'll yeah, take a bite after it. you, Reg. You know I don't like There's these 400 oh, more in there, so we're yeah. fine. Are you sure, Lizzie? Yeah. No, I'm good. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Here, Elizabeth. Cheers. Well, I didn't realize that was the last one. I feel no, bad. feel bad about we it. We have it's 400. Not, there's literally 400. Oh, good. I need 399 more. I have food in my food now. Okay. Oh, I like it. It's really good. This tastes like mm. when I was a kid and I would scoop mm. like the mm. like raw cookie dough that you hadn't made yet. And you, you know what I mean? Is this raw cookie dough? And it's almost like brownie batter. That's it's what so. I don't know. I'm not I a think fan it's of raw. I'm not a fan of cookie dough. Oh, then I really like feel this. like it's got to be cooked. Who's yeah. not a fan of cookie dough? <laughs> Me. But I mean, I, I, like I would. I mean, I would like to know if this is supposed to be cooked and we just didn't get a cooked one because they're having no. a bad day. No, I think this is how it was supposed to be. I think Frozen? this is. Yeah, mm. I do too. <laughs> No, it's no, like just cold. And the brownie, ba the brownie's like almost doughy, so it almost feels like you're eating like. It tastes like raw cookie. Morgan though. would like which this. is the best. <laughs> I love it, uh -huh. but I think it is supposed to be cooked. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, if no. it's got eggs and eggs in it, no. it should be cooked. No, people swallow raw eggs daily. <laughs> but they act have like to... you've lifted, bro. <laughs> mm. I mean, I've seen people swallow raw eggs, but you could just pick off the M and M's. I think it's perfect. I love it. I'm I have stressed no out complaints. <laughs> Grandma ate too many M and M's on the plane and got a tummy ache. Oh no! <laughs> Plus, she didn't there. eat all of them. I found some on the floor. <laughs> and I searched it because that always happens, and then Dad gets mad. <laughs> so I searched the floor, and I couldn't find anything. Shane walks up and said, "Ryland, you better get that M and M." <laughs> like, oh, I tried. Wow, this is a great meal, actually. Yeah. Mm. It really mm -hmm. is good. Mm. Thank you for the food. I hope I don't ever see a Little Caesars by me. I don't know where one is. Well, I guess that's it. Anybody have anything to say? Mm. I love the puffs so much. <laughs> yeah, I love the puffs. Mm. The puffs can do no oh, wrong. Oh gosh, they're both good. Lizzie, try this later today. I'm mm. really not sold on the fact that it's not supposed to be cooked. <laughs> mm. Oh, I just bit my lip. I think oh, you might no. be right. I think they Ouch. might. Like, I think it's supposed to be cooked and they hated us. Mm. And you All can right. still enjoy it, but I don't know if this is how Christopher Nolan intended. <laughs> mm. Well, let's send somebody in to ask if they should be cooked. I can't encounter those people ever again. <laughs> no. I think we should be I kind of want to go see how their shit's escalated. <laughs> well, what are these called? Why is this Final happening? Cooked brownie bites. This also <laughs> happened that... at Cold Stone. Is this just everyone? Now? And you're is wondering. <laughs> crazy? No, yeah. every, nobody gives good service anymore. And then everyone's like, well, you got to understand their job sucks. It's like, no. That's me. I don't understand their job sucks. They're paid to be there. That's what a job is. Mm. But it's also not just not good service. It's like it's they're bad. Like yelling at them. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> wow. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the podcast. Follow all of us on social media. Shop my mom's Amazon. Amazon. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Amazon store. Chris has a YouTube channel. Lizzie has a YouTube channel. Susie. Don't I don't know if me. she wants <laughs> you to follow her. <laughs> Susie, forget you saw her here. <laughs> she was a ghost on the wall. Oh, boy. You actually never saw Susie. Yeah. Susie who? Yeah. Susie who? Um, we my will sister be, who? We will be back next week. Thank you for supporting our show. We love you very much. Goodbye. And yeah, that's the sip. Ah, sorry. I've got I a my mouth full. Food. <laughs> Let me issue a public apology. Oh, they no. knew what I needed that I didn't even know. <laughs> you know, had we each only had one, they were oh, too small. We would have been and mad and gone back. We, Elizabeth. Ryan, <laughs> what are we, what? Ryland, living with Shane, you should have known we need sauce. Uh, yeah, I know. I just couldn't deal with going back in there, but now for the rest of them that we have at home, we'll have sauce. Sorry we robbed you from that experience, everyone. <laughs> Damn. And good night. I didn't even know what crazy sauce was till I met Susie. Me either. Uh. Thank God we had her. Honestly. Order your crazy sauce at Little Caesars. Put that camera in your mouth, Vicky. What's the difference? Does it, what, what's in it? Marinara and what? Just marinara. No, and then oh, just regular marinara. Well, then how, how's it crazy? Because... That's it's crazy. Your thing, crazy, crazy. Pizza, pizza. They are crazy. Wow, that was a burp combo. <laughs> <laughs>